is five in a row, all the same suit, and a royal flush in the highest hand you can make. That is a straight flush, ace high. Blinds out, one and one thousand. And Bataka, that'll settle him in, Park. It's always good to find out that by betting you can win a pot. And uh, Sergey will do one of those quick studies, I believe. Pass. You know, uh, Tony Cascavino and Sergey have got a little bit of a history together. I think uh, they played together when, against one another. I think when Tony was at Celtic Trace, and uh, Sergey was at St. Johnson. Bit of raise here from Cascarino from the button. Re to 9, Quick re-raise from Alicia. Pass. She's got the real hand, the Cowboys part. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's amazing here. Cascarino, this is basically the first hand he's played. He's got garbage. Well, he did play nine, eight, nine of hearts in the first part of the day. And he played a pot with a 4-2. But apart from that, this is the first hand he's played. <laughs> 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 well, what game have you been watching? <laughs> well... <laughs> that was the kind of raise that you may have been sitting too long with Andy Black before this game started. Black was making a very good case for how to raise and play with the deuce seven. <laughs> and, um, I know, I know the, the hills of Donegal came into the story somewhere, <laughs> which uh, I must admit as an Irish man worried me somewhat. <laughs> Pass. Pass. Now, what we have seen over and over again is uh, to the, the soccer players, when they play, uh, when they start to, pl to play Pass. and hold them with the boys, it takes them a little bit of while to get the hang of it. But after that, they take to it like Pass. ducks to water. <laughs> I think Sergio may need a few more swimming lessons. <laughs> but he'd make it in the end. A raise from Kuzmin, called by Cascarino. And Cascarino's <laughs> probably the surprise at his table so far, apart from some of the play from Sergio. <laughs> Tony would normally be considered a little more conservative than this, but... 3,000. Maybe, uh, maybe Andy's decided oh. he's going to be anchor man in the Irish team. He, he showed a little naivety in team tactics the last time we played. <laughs> there were several words said in the bar afterwards. This but, uh, is a bit unfortunate for Cascarino. He's uh, flopped the best of it. Bet been called by Kuzmin, yeah. who's had basically nothing. And now Alexander's hit the ace. Will he bet it here? There are three diamonds on the board. He'll be betting. I think he'll feel that he has to protect uh, protect his pair of aces at this stage. He doesn't want to be given any any free cards with three diamonds on the board. He'd be quite happy oh, to pick it up here. Well, normally, <laughs> I guarantee you in this particular game, if somebody has to ask where's the, where's the action, it's one of the Russians. <laughs> no, actually, in that case, it was the tournament director. <laughs> no, I'm saying it's one of the Russians that it's up to. Oh. Andy plays very fast. Uh, Peter plays very fast. Pass. Uh, Tony's not hanging about either. <laughs> well, no, I think the Irish tactic is to try and get as many hands in as possible at each level. <laughs> you know, the team did fancy their chances better about playing the other teams, uh, gaining advantage by getting uh, the most hands in when the, when the blinds are smallest. Halfway through the first level, it Looks like the Irish are running circles around Russia, but uh, Russia's got all the chips. One, two, and three. I think I've seen a few soccer games between Ireland and Russia went like that. <laughs> Ireland's time of possession, 82 minutes. <laughs> Russia three goals and Ireland nil. <laughs> well, I suppose the most yeah. famous match between uh, Ireland and Russia was that 3-0 uh, win in 1974 at Daly Mount Park. Yeah. I was... Uh, I was actually at the match, uh, but they, some, I think at this stage something like 347,000 Irish people <laughs> claimed they were there that day when the Don Givens hat trick <laughs> floored the Russians. And I can tell you, the, the Irish fans were the most surprised of anybody. Raised by Tony Cascarina with the ace. All right, <laughs> otherwise I can take them back. Kabaja's big Don't blind. Go. She's called. Right. She's got two live cards. And position. Top pair, though. Top kicker for Tony. I'm Oh! He's, he's really bringing out the kitchen sink so far this evening, Park. <laughs> he is. It's Three thousand. I think he, he was trying to induce a bluff from uh, Alicia with, with his ace ace. She didn't fall for it. Well, he decided uh, <laughs> one shot was all he was going to give her. Right? <laughs> it wasn't that big a hand, was it? I mean, no. there was just half the deck there could have made the eight look like a very bad card. Well, it was a statement of intent from Tony. I, I kind of liked it. Oh, yeah. Fraught with danger, but it, it, it's fitting with his place on this Irish team. <laughs> Pass. 
Well, one thing that we've seen so far, it seems like every one of the Republic of Ireland players has tried about everything. The Russians have played a very straight-ahead game, and that might Pass. be the best, <laughs> their best chance. I mean, you know, you, you don't want to out fancy Raise somebody who's just playing oh. all over the place. Well, I mean, I, I did mention we had that very good result against Russia in 1974. There have been some sad days in the Republic of Ireland against Russia. Okay. Well, it wasn't a big race. Alicia Kabaj tripled the bet with the two nines. Andy Black, quick call from the button. Ten Jack suited. And uh, Kuzmin, he's got two live cards. Three ways well, they've there. all taken advantage of the blinds uh, being so low at the early stages of this tournament. And uh, it could have le it could lead to a bloodbath here, Andy. Well, two pair for Andy Black, and the Bye -bye. flush draw for Kuzmin. Uh, there's no way Andy Black's backing off this. No. Well, you know the one thing about having a the kind of an image Andy, the, t the table image Andy has, is that you know, when he does hit a big hand, he can play it fast, and uh, he doesn't really shop the Four. strength of his hand. Kuzmin takes a conservative uh, route there and decides to just call, see what happens. This pot's getting big, 20,000 already. And Kuzmin looking for the spade. Well, uh, a big card might give uh, Kuzmin a straight draw as well. That's changed nothing. Will it change the betting? Well, it's probably... Uh, and Andy considered the four to be quite a good card for his hand. It's, it's been the four, four. Yeah. Sort of a defensive bet by Kuzmin. Black's just calling. Anything but a spade. Well, I think Kuzmin may, may have thought that for 4,000, uh, he might he might get to see the last card. Whereas <laughs> if you check to Black, and uh, Black could probably bet 12 or 16,000. 28,000 in there, Kuzmin. Check. That's a good check from Kuzmin. I think he's, he's worked out exactly where he's at here. And where he's at is in a lot of trouble. <coughs> 16,000. <laughs> that was a very quick decision of Andy Black, size-wise, but uh, he wasn't getting paid off under any circumstances. And with that, the first level is over. Good pot for the Republic of Ireland there. Well, we finally got a guy back with more trips than he started. <laughs> You're right, Jen. When it looks like the Irish are, to, are getting involved in all the action, the, the Russians are getting the trips. <laughs> Level two, blinds of two and 2,000 now. And uh, I guess that changes the action slightly, but uh, it's hard to imagine how this game could get any speedier. There's been a lot of rays in it already. What is it? It's been unbelievable. Andy Black's playing like Cascarino. Cascarino's playing like Andy Black, and Peter Roach is playing like Peter Roach. Pass. <laughs> this is great Pass. stuff. Okay, if you wish to play, you have to put another 4,000 or you can fold. A celebratory raise there from Andy Black, but he had the goods. Would have loved some action with the hooks. And the captain for the Republic of Ireland is the leader of yes. chips. Thank you. That's all happened very quickly. Uh, Andy was hanging back a little bit. He was uh, maybe letting Peter have his head just to see that Peter start accumulating chips at a tremendous rate. Now all of a sudden he's moved into the lead. And uh, this, is, this is not a guy the Russians wanted to see in the lead, I can tell you that much. <laughs> No, if uh, there's one man who enjoys playing from the front, it's Andy Black. I <laughs> tell you that. He loves it. <laughs> he absolutely terrorized the World Series of Poker on several occasions. And uh, now, if there is a serious fault in Andy Black, in Andy Black's game, is that sometimes uh, Andy can, um, he forgets to go back down through the gears again. You know, when Andy's playing at the top of his game, he's he's a very very solid player, a very very strong player. I meant. Uh, if, if there is a fault in his game, it, it can be that he, um, he he gets a little bit over elaborate, and you know he wants to. He, he doesn't want to just win; he wants to win with style. Well, Park, there could be a car crash here between the two strongest Russian players. Alicia has raised with the ace king, cool. and Kuzmin has the two queens. He's just Pass. called. I'll tell you what: this is super Pass. play team tactics-wise. That Kuzmin doesn't want to make a massive pot for both of them. Or well, for one of them. Well, I think uh, Kuzmin will, will feel that, uh, that as, as he's uh, the most experienced Russian player uh, here, that uh, he's, got, he's got to try and uh, hang in as long as possible. No, it's island on the side. That's the same. Well, they've let 